great. Sorry, it's just, I was just, uh, I was pretending to be a saxophone, and if you're wondering why I'm obsessed with the saxophones, because I got a really cool cat coming to the studio today, and he's going to show us his skills on how to play the jazzy instrument. And don't forget, make sure you stick around to Kids Owners, because this is a show where we have some of the coolest kids and the most talented ones from Malaysia. When I was a little girl, in order for me to kill time, I used to pretend like I could do you know, the sounds of instruments with my mouth. I, as an example, I would pretend that I was a guitar or drums or even a xylophone, but the only reason why I did that was probably because I never really learned how to play an instrument. Now, the thing is, it's not like I didn't have any passion to do it or anything. It was just that, for one, I didn't really know what instrument to play, neither did I have the discipline for it. But luckily for me today, I've got a really, really cool dude who plays the saxophone, and he's gonna show us what he knows the skills the music and everything so give it up for my buddy Nick Nick get in here get in here. come here come into my house welcome to my humble home how Hello. you doing man <laughs> you good yeah yeah okay why don't you introduce yourself a little bit my name is Nick Zanu Emran and um, I'm in 12 years old and I live in Kuala Lumpur oh fantastic now tell me how long have you been playing the saxophone I've been um, playing it for three years already. All right. Why did you choose a saxophone? I mean, a lot of kids usually opt for a guitar or drums or a piano. What made you decide to use the saxophone? Um, because I love the sound and the, um, um, and the saxophone looks cool. Oh, yeah, yeah well, it is because it sounds like... Wah, wah, wah. Okay. <laughs> that was really, really bad. But anyways, does it take a lot of stamina to actually play the saxophone? Because you guys have to take like deep breaths to actually play it, right? Yeah. So, for example, if I had asthma, do you think I'll be able to play the saxophone? Yeah, you still can play it. Oh, really? I did not know that. Because I always imagine that if you're short of breath, you're like... <laughs> like that's about it. But you do have to have a good set of lungs, Yeah. Do you? Okay, how are your lungs? Is it okay? Yeah, it's okay. okay. It's Never fine. smoke. Smoking is a very bad habit and it will be good for your lungs so you can play the saxophone for the rest of your life. Now, how many songs have you learned so far? Um, so far, um, more than 10. Nice, okay. <laughs> so, how were you introduced to the saxophone actually? Um, actually, I first started watching YouTube, then I start building my um, interest in saxophone, yeah. Via YouTube, that is super duper cool. I mean, I mean, a lot of the times we have the internet to, you know, for us to learn a lot of new stuff. But I like to actually begin a new passion project. What do you, where do you see yourself with this skill? Do you want to be like a performer, or you know, are you going to be a rock star one day where you're playing the saxophone in front of billions of people? Um, no, actually, um, I'm just going to do it for part-time, actually. Ah, I see, I see. So, I think if, uh, say, you and I, right, you know, yeah. you, you can play the saxophone, I'll play the bongos and sing, right? You know, we could be buskers, we can make some money. Are you up for that? Yeah, do you want to do that? Can. Can also? All right, I am in. Got some money coming in then. <laughs> yeah, you're going to wait for that. Actually, you know what? He will perform. I'll just be at the side asking for money from everyone. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> like, do, you, uh, do you ever perform in front of your friends or do you join competitions or anything like that? Um, yeah, but um, I don't normally join competition. I just normally perform. Are you a part of a band? Um, yeah. You, oh, so you've got friends who play instruments yeah. and then you just... Do you know what? I know this band, right? It's super duper cool. It's a Malaysian band and they've got like a whole bunch of people who play the saxophone. And I think that it's one of the coolest things ever to just have a bunch of people to jam. And it's like really, really awesome. But what was the most difficult song that you had to perform? My classical song. My teacher gave it to me. Ah, classical music is always a tricky one. Yeah. After all... <laughs> You'd have to enjoy it. So, do you prefer modern music or classical music? I still prefer classical music. Ah, I like yeah. that. I like that a lot. <laughs> I mean, you don't find a lot of kids who like classical music, man. It's actually really, really cool. Good for the brain. Do you know that when babies are unborn, if they listen to classical music, they become smarter? 
No, I never heard of that before. <laughs> well, now you know. You can probably ask your mom about that later. But okay, so we're going to give you a little challenge, okay? It's very, very simple. We're going to play you a clip of saxophone covers of modern music. And you have to name the artist as well as the name of the song. Can you do that? Yeah. Okay, and if you do that, I'm going to give you a T-shirt. Yeah. Okay? All right, let's do this. Shall we play the first clip, please? Okay, what song was that? <laughs> I forgot the title of the song. Okay, it's the name of a place that starts with the letter H. I'm going to give you a clue. And it ends with an ah. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> if you give up that one, don't worry about it. We'll play the next clip. Go. Um, perfect. Um, and the artist is um, Ed Sheeran. That's right. You got my boy, right? <laughs> okay. You just need to score one more in order for you to get that t-shirt. Let's play the other clip. You gotta know this one, man. Everyone knows this one. Alright, what is it? Um, Despacito. Oh, <laughs> so sad. Congratulations, you did it. I told you you got a good year. The first one was Havana. I mean, like, that song is a bit overplayed, but it was still good anyway. Congratulations. That's why I got to call my buddy Idan to give you your T-shirt. Idan! <laughs> Thanks so much, buddy. This is for you. Thank you. Okay, and you're going to perform for us, right? I'm yeah. looking forward to it. Now, why don't you head off over there? Go get out of here and you prepare yourself okay. while I am going to just sit back and relax and enjoy myself. And, of course, make sure that if you want to play the instrument, be as discipline as possible and practice 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 and then eventually you're gonna have a lot of fun and the best part is find a bunch of people that you can actually jam with because after a while who knows you might be the next john mayer wait you don't know who that is how about the next ed sheeran i suppose or even the next super duper awesome artists out there make sure you stick around there are more things happening on kids zoners see you in a bit If you have seen Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, then you would know what Wushu is all about. Now, it is a sport that has been around for ages, but you should know that Wushu is actually an evolving martial art. And I've got my buddy Kaden, and he's going to show us what he's got. Come on over here, Kaden. What's up? Hello. Introduce yourself, please. My name is you, Kaden. I, I am 
Nine years old. I am from Kunching too. Wow, very, very good. Now, how long have you been doing wushu? Two years. Wow, are you disciplined? Yes. How disciplined are you? Not sure. Huh? Not sure how disciplined you are. <laughs> okay, well, Kaden, do you have any brothers and sisters? No. Okay, the only child. Does this mean that you train by yourself or you train with other kids? Train by myself. Oh, yourself. Uh. So, your, your mommy or daddy don't train with you? No. Oh, how come? Uh? You don't want them to come with you? I don't want to. <laughs> okay. So, Kaden, I know that you join a lot of competitions, right? Now, and I can see that you have some medals you want to show, right? See, see? I want to see your medals. Wow! So, this one's silver. This one is bronze. How difficult was the competition? Easy. Easy? Wow! So easy <laughs> like that. You think I can do? Uh? Can I do it? Can. Can. Wow! Okay, very good. Maybe you teach me later, can I? Uh? Okay, good. Very, very nice. Now, are you excited for your next competition? Yes. Yes? So you got to train a lot, right? Yeah. How many hours you train? Two. Two hours? Uh? Now, before you get ready to go and show us what you've got, we are going to give you a t-shirt. So I got to call my buddy, Dan. Hey, Dan. Thank you so much. All right, Kaden, this one is for you. Now, you can wear this later on because I know it's really, really hot here at Tian Ho Temple. It is a beautiful day, but we are looking forward to seeing what Kaden has in store. So why don't you go? Go, 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 go. All righty oh, righty a. Eh? So make sure you stick around and see what Kaden has to offer when it comes to Wushu. But always remember, kids, if you want to be the master of something, you have got to be disciplined. As an example, if you wish to be the master Master of all painters, make sure you practice with your brush. If you want to be the master of Kung Fu, make sure you go -ha 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 -ha! But don't break anything in the household, guys. Make sure you stick around to TV2. We got so much more shows going on. And of course, we got you Kaden. Hoo-ha! Bye!